introducing Buick Riviera for 1963. The Buick Riviera was born 32 years ago and became an instant classic. For 1995, Riviera is born again. Heavier and longer by nine inches, it is a big, roomy coupe. There was no 94 Riviera. Engineers took their time preparing this totally new 95. The base price is now $28,257, including destination. Our nicely equipped test car listed at $31,433. Exterior workmanship on our Riviera was excellent. Fit and finish, nearly flawless. Doors, solid and quiet. Paint, as good as it gets. A no-go, though, for our test luggage set. Riviera's new trunk is bigger, but not deep enough. Only two of our three pieces of luggage made it in. Riviera's battery didn't make it under the hood either. No, it's not here. A terminal for jump starting is here, but weight and balance considerations prompted Buick to put the actual battery under the rear seat, which incidentally has plenty of legroom. The one place we think Buick chintzed out on the Riviera was on the interior. We don't think people who spend 30 grand for a car want to see anything like this. Plastic is one thing, but when it looks or feels flimsy, that's another. And in addition to areas of the interior feeling and looking flimsy, there are vast expanses of plastic that just look plastic. This luxury car needs some real wood trim. There are nice touches, like a hideaway cup holder and a Lexus-like ashtray, but the extremely practical rear air conditioning vents popped out a little too easily. And an advertised Buick feature, separate front passenger air conditioning controls, didn't provide enough of a temperature difference to make a difference. Riviera's new supercharged V6 certainly makes a difference. Coupled with front-wheel drive, the optional $1,100 engine is exceptionally quiet and powerful. Riviera's new aerodynamic body is the most rigid in its history. You feel the road, but you certainly don't hear it. Riviera is one of the quietest cars on the road, even under the harshest test conditions. Niceties include steering wheel controls for radio and air conditioning. Annoyances? A one-wipe mist feature on the windshield wiper control that didn't work and an air conditioner design that won't let a driver switch from outside to inside air unless the system is set at 60 degrees. Riviera's new suspension gives you both a luxury car ride and excellent handling. Its turning radius leaves something to be desired, but at more than 17 feet in length, Riviera is now a big car. I drove this supercharged new Buick more than 700 miles in local traffic, EPA at 17 city and 27 highway. Our Riviera delivered 16.1 miles per gallon in mostly city driving and 19.4 miles per gallon in a test of mostly highway driving.